What's up keepers and welcome back to ARS Goalkeeping, the number one free goalkeeping resource on the internet. And today we have a really special glove in for review with a big thanks to Keepersport.com who sent over the Nike victories and some more goodies for their full infield review. So if you're looking for a place to grab yourself a pair of these Nike victories, make sure to check out Keepersport.com. And you might remember our old review of the Nike Mercurial Elite did not pan out that well, with the glove falling to pieces after about a week or so. It was quite a surprise to see a new model, and even more, a takedown model from Nike. I mean, what is more of a takedown than a pair that rips through the stitching, right? Interestingly, the victories actually came with a lot of positive feedback from some of my favorite goalkeepers on Instagram, so I decided to come into the whole thing with a fair blank sheet and a blank opinion. The Nike Victory comes in a negative cut style with ACC control access across the knuckles and the backhand. It is a completely strapless glove and the stitching is put across the lining of your fingers with a cloth lycra type material. The stitching across the fingers and up to the wrist is a lot cleaner and tighter than the previous Elite model that I've used, which is a very good sign that Nike took the criticisms in stride. And when I looked around, I noticed that there was no real specification to which latex to use on the palm of these victories which means that it could change in the next models to a lower quality type of latex. But this pair that I was using definitely felt like it had a higher quality contact level latex with very good grip. I was definitely hoping the cloth lycra gussets would not be going across the thumbs as well, but that has not changed. Although the gusset itself looks a lot smaller and the stitching a lot tighter, it still gets in the way of the thumb and it seems like the biggest takeaway from the Elite to the Victory is the backhand material, which is a very nice neoprene that is being used a lot now in the place of super soft latex backhands. And when it comes to fit and comfort, the Mercurial is a bit of an enigma. It's a bit difficult to slide them on, but once they are on, it does feel like you're keeping in bare hands, which takes a while to get used to. There was definitely a ton of early shots that I bobbled and didn't handle cleanly just because I had a little trouble gaining confidence with the almost non-existent glove. But as I got used to the victories, it became much easier to hold onto shots and get back into my own groove. The fit is insanely tight, but the neoprene does a superb job at stretching along with the different areas in the hand. There's a slight bubbling on the palm near the pinky, which I don't really care for, but other than that, it is a skin tight fit, exactly as Nike had advertised. And on the side of performance and grip, the victories performed exactly how I felt the first Elite Nikes should have. They have an obvious learning curve, but once you get the hang of the gloves, they are pretty fun to use. The grip is good enough to make all of the necessary holds and the only reason I felt like I didn't get more holds or catching the ball as much is because the lycra or cloth gussets and obviously my own technique coming back from a finger break. As a whole, the Nike Victory was a fun pair of ultralight gloves and shows what the possibilities are with a well-made strapless glove. And there are still some slight sizing issues. I feel like that area with the bubbling over the pinky and the gussets across the thumb, but it is an instant upgrade to its predecessor and being a cheaper model at that. And when we take a look at our gloves after about three weeks of use on primarily grass fields in both dry and wet weather, you can see that the latex is probably a contact style latex. The grip is good and the durability is not the best. Across the fingers where the tension would be the highest, there is a ton of tearing and latex pulling up, but it isn't that bad on the palm. Nike gave these gloves a 3 out of 5 on durability and it's fair to say when compared to the older models that ripped, but I still say that this is about a real 2-5 to five on durability. The latex on the fingers will give away to flesh before you get the rest of the gloves ripped up, but overall the Nike Victory is a massive improvement to its big brother, the neoprene backhand does a great job and there's no stitching issues at all. If you're looking for a decent price ultra light game glove, the Nike Victory can definitely fill in that role at about 80 US dollars, and if you have decent technique you can maybe make these bad boys last you a whole season, but I expect two pairs to be needed for a full season's worth of games. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, smash that like and subscribe button, plus leave a comment down below. Don't forget to check out Alberto Ruiz Soccer on Instagram for more sneak peeks and daily updates, and I'll see you guys again very soon.